Hey there, welcome to your November 2024 predictions. And as usual, I'm going to share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you are new to the channel and have not subscribed, please subscribe. That is how you can help to support. And of course, I love, absolutely love sharing my psychic gifts with you. So it is such a blessing. Let me tell you something. It's such a blessing to be able to channel energy and to inform and enlighten you that, you know, I just get so ecstatic. And this reading, I'm really excited about. This is the November 2024, which is in a few days, right? So this is the energy that will be happening for you. So let's get straight into it. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hi, number one. Welcome to your reading. This is your November 2024 prediction. And as always, I'm going to share with you all the energy that does come through, and I'm not going to leave anything out. We do know we live in a yin and yang universe, so we have to be enlightened about everything, right? That goes on, and so that is considered wisdom. So I am so grateful to be able to share my psychic gifts with you. It's something I, I go to bed thinking about and I wake up exciting doing. I want to ask you, take one moment to click that subscribe button. That is how you can help to support. So let's jump straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to your card holding the turquoise crystal. Now, the turquoise, what I absolutely love about the turquoise is because this cleanses negative energy. It helps to bring good fortune and enable truthful communication by connecting to the throat chakra. And if you look at the um, a chart of the chakras, you know that the th throat chakra is blue, okay? The throat chakra is blue. So I can definitely see there's going to be more communication that's happening with you in this month of October. And so you're drawn to pile one and let's see the energy that's coming through for you. You have three cards that automatically just decided to show up and show out in a big way. So let's see what they are. First card is that Ace of Wands. I'm loving this. The Ace is always a high vibrational energy in tarot. Ace of Wands. And it's about creativity. So it's about a new project, inspiration, and having that urge to create. So this is great energy here for you starting out for 2024. Career, um, new beginnings as well. And you have the Knight of Wands. What? Another fire card? The Knight of Wands? Let me just point this out, okay? The wand energy is in tarot, it's fire. So it represents uh, also the fire zodiac, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. In the top placements of your chart, right? Or the chart of someone that's going to play a significant role here in November for you, okay? And that Knight of Wands, it's it's like your intuition, okay? So the Knight of Wands is also, I feel like you're going to connect with someone like a free-spirited person, okay? This person is creative, but also, you know, I told you I would not leave anything out. <laughs> this person is going to be so attracted to you. You may already know this person, but you guys are going to get closer. This person is going to be sexually attracted to you, right? In a big way. Oh, wait a minute. There's four cards. I thought it was three. The four of cups. Baby, the four of cups? The cup energy, it's water and it's connected to your emotions. So you have with that cup energy, you got Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer also playing a huge role here for you in November. But the Four of Cups, this is like a surprise gift. Something's going to take place. Now, let, just let me say this. Starting out the first part of November, you're going to be feeling some kind of way, right? You're going to be in your feelings like... 
I feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel a little bit unfulfilled, like what's going to take place. And then around that second week of November, things are going to start to shift. Your energy will shift, right? And that's when you'll be um, presented with a surprise, okay? And this surprise is going to make you feel really happy, really upbeat. It's actually going to change the trajectory of your thought thought process, okay? So whereas you may be feeling, you know, like you're not doing enough, what more could take place? That second week of November is going to shift in a big way. Let's see your fourth card that decided to jump out. And at first I thought it was three because it looked like three. Didn't it look like three to you? Whoa, six of pentacles, six of pentacles. We got pentacle, y'all. So this is earth. This is earth. You got pentacle. This is physical. So you got Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, sun, moon, or rising as well, playing a huge part in November for you. So that six of pentacles energy, this is giving and receiving energy. This is you receiving help. This is generosity. So the universe is shining on you in a big way in November. So something physical to do with your finances will increase, okay? You will get an opportunity that has something to do with growing your finances. Insane, insane, okay? All positive energy all positive energy, even the energy starting out where, you know, you're not feeling as if things are going the way that they should be going, but then that shift takes place, okay? Keep in mind that even challenges are opportunities for you to see things in a different light, for you to see things um, um, in a more, with a new perspective, with a new fresh set of eyes. So let's see what else you have here. I'm just like, I'm over the moon because you have that fire energy. You got earth, you got fire with the wands, the two wand cards. You got the ace of wands, you got the knight of wands. Then you got that six of pentacles, that's earth. And you got the four of cups. So you got earth, water, and fire, okay? Earth, water, and fire. Earth, water, and fire, wow. Creativity creativity off the chain for you in November. Creativity is off the chain with a new project. You have that inspiration. You you have an urge to create. You have, So keep that in mind. And always remember, why did you start the project, right? When you remember that, that's going to give you the drive to continue. So let's gain more insight. Achievement. Win the award, the accolade, or the contract. If this is not in correlation with the Ace of Wands, I don't know what is, okay? Achievement here for you in November. Something's taking place really big for you, okay? And this is going to surprise you. It's an opportunity that you didn't expect, you did not see, you did not see coming. You're going to achieve so much. And from your achievement, you will win an award, right? Accolades, people congratulating you, right? Or even a contract. So keep that in mind. And this thing that you start in November is what's going to lead to this achievement. Now, you may have, I feel like you've already been on this project. Even if it's in your vibrational frequency, you've been like, I need to do this, I need to do this, okay? And you've already been working on this, but by you putting that momentum, even more momentum uh, uh, towards it, achievement is going to develop out of it. Achievement will develop out of it. And you're going to see the possibilities of that achievement right, in November, because little things are going to happen. But the full, the full award recognition will take place sometime in early 2025, right? But you're going to start to see the fruits of your energy, of your labor, of your creativity, of your drive. You're going to start to see that in November. And so let's gain more insight. 
insane. What is that energy spirit as it does relate? And I kind of like want to just move your cards around because I just do. Let's see. You got the God horse, clear seeing, intention and perspective. Did we just get this? <laughs> Thank you, spirit. I'm also so grateful when spirit does show up and show out right? Validating your questions and concerns with the God Horus here. So there's like, it's, it, there, the path is clear for you in November. You're moving now with intention. You have a new perspective. You have that mindset that came through earlier, right? Where you're like, I'm going to do this with intention, okay? I'm going to um, make sure that I put the right vibe on my situation, and that's why the universe is responding to you. Because one thing for sure is certain, the universe will reward the ones that want it the most. You are going to be rewarded. Changing your perspective is taking place. Mm. That's that hanged man energy as well. That's that hanged man tarot energy where you're being downloaded with with new information, new ideas, wisdom, okay? Self-sacrificing. You have to sacrifice your old self in order to gain that new self, okay? And that simply means letting go of your old beliefs, your old patterns, your old behavior, right? And in some cases, letting go of old situationships, Things and 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 um, people that you know are no longer serving you. I feel like this is taking place for you in November. You're starting to see people um, more clear as well, seeing things for what they are and not what you fantasize them to be. So let's gain more insight. What is that energy spirit as it does relate for you? Number one. November 2024. <laughs> this is some awesome predictive energy here. Claim it, number one. Claim it. Put claim it in the in that um put claim it in the um what am I say? <laughs> I'm so excited for you in the comment section. Claim it. Claim it number one. Claim this in number one. Nine. Nine of wands. Okay. This is the nine of wands. It's challenges, right? It is challenges, but it's okay. What did we say earlier? Challenges create opportunities. Obstacles create opportunities. But it's not something you can't handle. It's a good type of challenge, okay? And again, what we, what we mentioned earlier is that at the first start of November, you're going to feel kind of anxious. But being that you're getting this information, you can get prepared for that and you can ease yourself. So as soon as you start to feel that anxiety coming on, just say, hold on. I remember that my, that my tarot reading said that I would feel this. So let me control this, okay? And the way that you control your anxiety is with your thoughts, okay? And the reason you have anxiety in the first place is because either you're worried about the future, or you're thinking about the past and not living in the present moment. So this is an opportunity for you to start um, learning and training yourself for mindfulness. So you'll be practicing more mindful behavior, okay? You'll be practicing more mindful behavior in November. Let's gain more insight. What is the energy? as it does relate for you. Number one, what's happening? November, 2024 predictions. November, 2024. Ooh, Saturn, did we just say wisdom? And you can see it here on the card, look at that. It says Saturn, wisdom. Spirit is, girl, spirit is enlightening you, okay? This is discipline and structure more discipline and structure. And those who are disciplined are what? Successful. It takes discipline to be successful. The first law in the kingdom of heaven is what? Order. So it's about you organizing your space, 
right? Starting with your mental and emotional space, right? And as you organize your mind, you start to organize your living space and getting rid of things in your space that you no longer need, donating things to charity. I can see that coming through here or even, even having a yard sale, okay? So there's structure here for you. There's structure, there's more responsibility. Why? Because you're, you're gaining success. You're gaining success with this new idea. Why also, why is there more responsibility? Because you're receiving gifts here from the universe. You're receiving with that six of pentacles energy. So that makes perfect sense. And what do you have to have with the planet Saturn? You have to have that self-control. You have to have that ambition. Will it be challenging? Yes, Saturn's, Saturn offers that challenging energy. And don't be afraid of challenges. We all go through challenges every day. Heck, I experience a challenge every day with something. But the fun thing about recognizing when you're going through a challenge is to realize, wait a minute, I have control over my thoughts and so therefore I have control over how I feel about this situation, which is why you're in a frame of mind now of changing your perspective. So if you're, you're working on a project and maybe you tried something, it didn't go the way you thought, say, oh, let me try it this way. So even with challenges, that gives you the opportunity to grow and learn. Heck, Edison, what? He had to do, uh, figure out that light bulb filament well over 900 times until he got to the thousandth try the thousand try just think if edison would would have quit we would not have lights and he's what one of the most famous people on the planet one of the most influential certainly influential right because what in our modern times we need what we need light so this is why it's important for you to keep going despite what challenges you may face don't fold in the field, right? And you won't because you have Saturn here. You won't, fold. you will not fold. See, Saturn gives you that energy of, you know, having the maturity to understand what is happening here. Saturn is also uh, responsible for a lot of the gravity here on the planet, that gravity element, okay? So keep that in mind. I also want to point out that Saturn... It rules over the earthy Capricorn. It rules over Capricorn. So with Saturn ruling over Capricorn, again, this is discipline for you in November, commitment and challenges. Keep that in mind. I love Saturn coming through because we, we, we talked about challenges earlier in the reading. Challenges are something to, to be uh, happy for, actually, because you say, okay, bring it on. Bring it on. I can handle this. You know, I can figure out my project, right? I can handle the monetary blessings that the universe is bestowing upon me. You can handle it because why? You have that clear seeing. You have intention. You have changed your perspective in November. All right, so let's gain more insight here. What is the energy spirit as it does relate for you? And I just want to move this over for you. Let's move this so you can see your cards. You have a very interesting November. It's extremely creative. Why am I singing? I love your November. I, I don't know. It's extremely creative, but it's exciting at the same time because you're seeing things grow for you. You're, you're seeing connections. You're seeing um, that you have the manifestation power. The fire is flowing through you. And it's also exciting, honey, not only for your career and your um, you expressing your gifts and your talents, but baby, you're going to meet someone that is so into you this night of wands is a firecracker. Speaking of fire, honey, he's free spirited. He is a person of great creativity. So it's a real exciting November. Let's gain more insight. What's the energy as it does relate? Presence. We just talked about living in the present moment. 
we just talked about that you will learn about being in the present moment. So I can truly say your reading is extremely what? Accurate. Or accurate what? AF. Yes, but I'm so grateful when spirit does show up and show out in this way, right? It lets us know that spirit is omnipresent. It lets us know that you can call on spirit at any time, your angel guides for help, for guidance. See, because this is the thing, the energy of presence, it supports your ability to focus your full attention and stay in the here and now. And we got that message earlier, right? With you being a little anxious, being a little anxious at the beginning of November, we got that. And so that's why we also got that guided message on how to nip that anxiety in the bud, right? We, we understand how because the message came through that when you are anxious, you know, and you have that anxiety, it's because you're worried about something that has not taken place yet in the future, or you are replaying, you are replaying things that happened in the past and not living in the present moment. So I love the fact that the presence energy came through to reiterate and to validate your questions and concerns today, that the energy of presence that supports your ability to focus Keyword, focus, <laughs> keyword, focus your full attention, right? And stay in the here and now, right? So yes, number three, there's definitely going to be an adventurous, creative, love field, honey, sensuous November for you, right? And again, you're going to be in your feelings, but it's okay. That's what feelings are for. We all got feelings. I get in my feelings, right? You just have to recognize and say, wait a minute, have I been in my feelings too long? Yes, I have. Let me move out of my feelings and move into my baddie vibes, right? And so that's what you will experience. And so number one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. I really appreciate your support because I absolutely love sharing my psychic gifts with you. Also, take one moment. If this reading does resonate with you and inspire, click that like and subscribe. I already said that. If this reading resonates and inspires you, leave a comment below because I really enjoy reading those comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number two. Welcome to your reading. This is your November 2024 prediction. And as always, I'm going to share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. You guys know we live in a yin and yang universe. It's meant to be that way so that you may experience challenges in order to grow into that greater version of who you are. So I'm not leaving nothing out. Okay. So also with that, I want to ask you to please subscribe to the channel. I truly love sharing my psychic gifts with you and I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. But let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy, you're naturally drawn to your card holding the Rose Quartz Crystal. Now with the Rose Quartz Crystal, this is offering that high vibrational energy of unconditional love, forgiveness and compassion. Okay, and have, have sometimes having to understand people who you just have to shake your head on. The facts is the facts. So let's gain more insight. That's a perfect choice for you. Let's see what you got here with your pile. Number two, what's coming through for you? What's happening, Spirit, for November 2024? What is this energy looking like? What is it? Oh, King of Cups. A supportive leader, baby. Somebody with great tolerance and empathy is entering into your life in, in November 2024. That cup energy is powerful. It's water. This person is emotionally stable. This one is emotionally stable. You can count on it. So let's see what else we do have. You got Eight of Pentacles. Look at you. And you also have page of coin. Baby, this is money, money, money. Money, money. Your bag is growing. And it's so awesome to see this. So you got the king of cups. You got water there. You got Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. 
either in the top placements of your chart or his chart, sun, moon, or rising as a confirmation and a reason. You got the page of coins, the page of coins. Okay. This is, this is patience. This is a race. This is more money news for you in November. The money is going up. Okay. Your bag is getting bigger. What does that feel like? It feels like ease. It feels like a sunny day. It feels like, oh, I can get my nails done and my feet done and I can take my family out to dinner. Oh, and I can give some money away. That's what it feels like in November for you. Page of coins. It's physical. It's earth. It's Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. All right. You also have here the eight of coins and it makes perfect sense because the eight of coins is what? Baby, it's you mastering your craft and enjoying your employment, enjoying the work that you're doing. This is this is starting out really good. November is just like on fleek. Now, on fleek could be an old saying because, you know, I know that. But, y'all, listen. This is significant. November is really good for you. Coming in contact with this King of Cups because baby, you have always known it's somebody that matches my, my emotional quotient. I know it is. I know there's an empath male out there. I know it is. And you're going to run into him in November. Let's gain more insight. So what is the energy as it does relate what's happening with you in November? That card rolled off the table, so it obviously was not meant to be in this deck. It's not for you this November. Let's see what this card is that's coming through. Let's see what we got. What we got. What we got. The sun. Ooh. I say ooh because the sun is the golden energy of the sun that brings fame and fortune. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it, okay? You're going to see signs in November that you are reaping the rewards, right, of fame and fortune. This is the golden energy of the sun. I also want to point out that the sun does rule over the zodiac sign of Leo. So Leo is significant in the reading. And it can be in your sun, moon, or rising sign, or in that area of someone that plays a huge part, baby, with your funds growing. And you got the page of coins as well. You got the sun, baby. All of these are high vibrational energetic cards. This is all about prosperity and abundance. So the sun, it's material happiness, okay? A joyous outcome and success. And baby, you got some people that that could be saying, okay, money's not everything and money's this and money's that and do, 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 do. But it's, money is just an object, but it's the energetic resonance of the money that is going to serve your life well. It's going to help you. It's going to help you help those that you care about, Okay. Look at what biblical texts and ancient texts say about the kingdom of heaven. What does it say? It says that the kingdom of heaven, the streets are paved with what? The streets are paved with gold. So what does that tell you about our creator's mindset? That our creator has a wealthy mindset. You can see that with the earth. Look at the abundance of the earth and what we were given. We are giving, given the sun air, wind, water, trees, fruits, plants, food, animals, gorgeous places, oceans, mountains. The mindset of the creator is a mindset of prosperity and abundance. Keep that in your mind, okay? And don't listen. Ignore the haters, the naysayers, and the doubters, they just don't know. And they're not meant to know at this moment. Everybody has their own journey and their own path. If you understand it, just understand it and keep it. And share it with those that are interested in listening.
right, so let's gain more insight. Let's see what else is happening for you in November. What's taking place, Spirit? What is that energy that's coming through? I'm so excited for you. So excited. Oh, the star. <laughs> the star, which represents being in the spotlight. So you have the sun and the star. This is significant. You have something very special about you. You have something that people are naturally drawn to. And it's very important for you to share that. You must share it. You must put yourself out. And I know you may be doing other things right now, like you may have like a other, another obligation, like maybe a job or something like that, something, a project, but you're, and, and maybe you are in front of the camera or thinking about getting in front of the camera, right? But just sharing your gifts and talents in, in, in a way that um, you're inspired to do. You could be writing a book. It could be your arts. It could be your crafts. It doesn't necessarily mean you yourself being in front of the camera, but it could be um, the essence of you, right? A book, a song, maybe you're a makeup artist, right? Something about you says being in the spotlight. You offer renewal and hope to people, right? And this is encouraging you to have faith. So let's see what else you do have. I'm just, I'm out done. I'm out done in an amazing way. I'm so excited for you. This, this is one of, on the rare occasions that a reading makes me, I become speechless in a, in a momentarily. So just bear with me because this is the goodness of source, God, the creator, the universe, conspiring in your favor. You're guided, you're loved, you're protected because you know why you have a good heart. This is you. So the universe is generous to you. Why? Because you're generous. You are an empath. So you're going to connect with this King of Cups who is an empath. And I say a king, a real king. Right? Just because he's an empath, that doesn't mean he's a pushover. He's not, right? He's the empath that has like understanding, right? He actually doesn't care about what people think about him or say. So he's he's never in confrontations because he doesn't care. He's very strong. He actually has empathy for those that harm or criticize others. But girl, <laughs> amazing, amazing. So let's gain more insight. What is that energy spirit as it does relate? Your November is popping. It's beautiful. What's happening spirit? You have the Archangel Christiel. This is higher consciousness, light, clarity, Christ light. Well, guess what? What is a star? Starlight. And what is a sun? Sunlight. And what's on your card here? Light. Christ light. Higher consciousness. This is considered a synchronicity of elements. You're encouraged to stay in a high vibrational frequency. And you were attracted to the high vibrational crystal, the rose quartz crystal. What does it offer? Love, compassion, forgiveness. Sometimes you think about those people that did you wrong, trespassed against you and played games, manipulated you, betrayed you. But honey, send them love and light. It's imperative that you send them love and light. Why? Because the universe is a boomerang. And what happens? It comes back to you. Oh my goodness. Let's gain more insight. Thank you, spirit. I love this for you. love this for you Let's see what we got here what is that energy as it does relate what's happening for you friendship now did we just say this and did we just make room for the friendship card to lay here naturally next to the king of cups 
Yes, we did. We made room, but we didn't know we were making room for the friendship card. But your energy <laughs> is in such alignment. It, it, it will take place like that. It will take place like that. The friendship energy. And it has the number 22 on the card. And you're what, number two? And did we just mention a synchronicity with the light energy? Well, there's a synchronicity here with you being the number two and 22 is on the card. So that's two, 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 which is a synchronicity. And maybe you have been seeing two, two, two lately or will start to see it a lot in November. Okay, so, and when you, two, two, two is about um, partnerships. It's about partnerships. It's about friendships. It's about connections. Okay. That energy, that energy, that energy of friendship, right? That supports your intrinsic desire. Okay. For a connection with others based on mutual affection and appreciation. So that's what's taking place for you. You really understanding that you go where you are appreciated and not where you are tolerated, right? And then you'll end up in places that are of a deep resonance of love, okay? It's a deep love. I'm feeling that lover's energy. It's a partnership, a deep love, a choice, the strength of two people together. That's what 222 is. It's connecting, right, with people. But you know why? Because you're offering this affection to yourself. You're offering that love and understanding to yourself. You are appreciating yourself, your gifts and your talents. And you're recognizing that there's so much around you to be grateful and thankful for. So what is the universe doing? Shining that golden energy of the sun that brings that fame and fortune. Now, the sun has an interesting element as well. It has the number 20 on the card. 222. Two, two. At the end of this reading, make sure you look up 222. Two, two. Go towards the message that calmly, it calmly draws you the most, right? So whether you click on Google or whether you do a video, Go towards the message in 222 two, two, that, that calmly draws you the most. And that is the message that you're meant to hear, okay? And you only need to choose one. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy as it does relate here? What's happening for you in November Four of Swords, air, intellect, your mind is at ease. You know that it's done. You know that things have already worked out in your favor. You know the Four of Swords, it's air, it's your intellect, it's your mind. You feel good in November. That air energy, it's Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra in the top placements. That sun, moon, or rising, right? Your chart or the chart of someone that is playing a significant role here with your alignment, with feeling good, feeling at peace in November. And also that, that it, it is like you feel good. You feel renewed. You looking a lot younger here, right? You're appreciating solitude. You're appreciating that quiet time so that you can hear the voice of source, the voice of God, your guided angels. You're asking, you're calling out for guidance and knowing that you are already heard before you call. The four of swords. It's recovery month. It's recovery it's healing. I love this for you. 
retreat. I see you retreating somewhere. So you, you'll probably take a, a day or a couple of days to go and just go to a nice resort or hotel and just chill out. And you deserve it. You deserve it. Let's gain more insight. What is happening for you in November? What is happening for you, Two of Wands? Look at two coming out again. We look, you cannot make this energy up. You can't you can't make it up. I'm so grateful when spirit shows up and con con confirms, right? Validates your questions and concerns. What is two? What did we just say? Two is and the two of wands, that wand energy is creativity. So this is about you making plans. It's about you um, having influence. It's influence. And we talked about that with the star card. We talked about that with the sun card being in the spotlight. That golden energy of the sun bringing you fame and fortune. We got the star here. Claim it, number two. Claim it, number two. Type claim it. Type I claim it in the comments. Claim it. This is plans and partnerships and influence for you. This energy frequency is it's a high one. The cards are drawn right here in front of your eyes and they all align. How could your final card be number two? Because spirit is sending you a clear, clear message, clear message of connection, letting you know that you are heard, letting you know that you are one, uh, you are created by brilliance and therefore you are brilliant. So allow your light to shine. So what I was saying earlier is that even though you may have something else going on, like you, you may be like working on a job or something like that, Start a, a TikTok or an Instagram or a YouTube channel and just get it started, okay? Don't be concerned with the particulars about the who, what, when, where, or how. Don't be concerned with that stuff. Only be concerned about creativity and expressing yourself because everything else is already here. It's in the vortex. The friendship, the recognition, the money, the love, the love. What a beautiful November for you. So much enlightenment, so much awareness. I'm so excited for you. So number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, make sure you drop a comment below. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. I absolutely love sharing my psychic gifts with you. I am sending you so much, so much, so much love and good energy. Hi, number three. Welcome to your reading. This is your November 2024 predictions. And as always, I'm going to share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click like and subscribe to the channel. I absolutely love sharing my psychic gifts with you. So I would truly appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. But let's jump straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to your card holding the rainbow moonstone. Now, the rainbow moonstone helps with main, maintaining um, mental clarity. So this is a perfect choice, right? This is the stone of love, fertility, intuition, magic, protection, hope, and spiritual purity. So this is a perfect choice for you. Now, let's take a look at your cards. You are pile three. Let's see what energy is meant to come out here for you. Let's see what you got. You got here the five of pentacles. So that's physical and that's earth. You also got the judgment energy. Five of pentacles and judgment. So I can definitely see things are coming to light here for you in November. And you also the queen of wands. So with the queen of wand energy, this is fire and creativity. 
All right. And so here with the five of pentacles, let me just say this. You are really understanding how your worry, your doubt, and your fear is affecting you in November, right? You gain more clarity on those emotions and what uh, those emotions do to you, right? So I can definitely see that with the five of pentacles, this is physical energy. It's Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And that could be seen in the top placements of your birth chart, your sun, moon, or rising, or also in the top placements of someone that is significant here with this five of pentacle energy. So I feel like um, someone's going, going to come, with, come to you and share some information, some sort of worry, some sort of worry with you about their finances. But, but you are going to have um, insight for them on, on ways that they can become sufficient, right? Especially here with the queen of wands energy, right? You're, you're going to offer them, right? That, that ways of being like having that confidence in, and that self-assurance. Okay. They connect, they then connect with your feisty vibe here in the in November. The judgment energy. This is a win-win situation for you, something that's taking place. The judgment energy. And never fear, my dear, that whatever is done in the dark will come to light. So you don't have to even worry about this person. There's someone that you feel like mistreated you or betrayed you. Send this person lots of love, white sparkly light, forgiveness, you know, and you know, you're, you'll be letting this energy go. You're letting this energy go in November. This is the justice, okay? I mean, judgment. This is judgment. So there's clarity here on this decision, okay? And you'll be making a final decision, okay? Something happened in this relationship connection that it caused a wake-up call. It caused a wake-up call, but this is this is um, for the purpose of your life. This um situation this relationship connection was meant to take place this is because this plays a huge part in your growth right and in your understanding of who you are so also bless this energy bless this energy and let's gain more insight so what's happening for you in the month of november number three what's taking place for you in the month of november november you have the labyrinth, raising your energetic vibration and enlightenment. I love the labyrinth coming out because spirit just gave us that insight of you really understanding how worry, doubt, and fear affects someone physically. And so that's something you're trying to stay away from. And guess what? You're on the right path. You're doing really well, right? Not criticizing yourself, you know, really understanding that self-criticism is the thief of joy. Comparing yourself and your journey to other people does not make sense because everyone is on their own journey, doing their own thing because they're supposed to, right? So this is where your energetic vibration is being raised here in November. You are being enlightened, right? So that, so that you're able to align with the greater version of who you are, which is this feisty, this feisty person here, this queen of wands, that self-confidence, self-assurance, okay? That's taking place with you. You're more creative here in November. So let's gain more insight. Let's see what's popping. What's happening here for you in November? What's taking place? November for you. Your predictions. You got the Archangel Azrael. Oh, I love the Archangel Azrael. See, you're putting it into a lot of things that are not serving you. These are transitions. These are changes. These are life-changing um, events that will take place for you in November. And Archangel Raziel is also in, in association with Scorpio. So Scorpio is about endings, things coming to an end and new beginnings. Right, so November is going to feel like you're shedding a lot of like old emotions, shedding a lot of old beliefs, and gain gaining a new mindset. The renewal of your mind, right, is imperative in November, and so that's why it's taking place. 
a lot of changes. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is this energy that's taking place for you in November? What's happening with you in November? What's happening with you in November? The Knight of Wands. You meeting somebody. You meeting somebody. <laughs> Why would I say it? I, look, I told you I'm not leaving anything out. So I don't know if you ever heard this song, Nasty Boys, by Janet Jackson. If not, look it up. Nasty Boys. Okay? Though so this is someone that's definitely going to have a sexual attraction to you. A strong sexual attraction, but you have a great intuition here. That wand energy, of course, is, is fire. It's Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Okay, so that's significant in the top placements of this person's birth chart, either sun, moon, or rising sign, or yours as a confirmation. But this person, you're going to know him because this person is very free-spirited type energy and... um and creative always has like something they're doing or something that they want to do. Nasty boys, look up that song by Janet Jackson. I think you'll resonate with it. I'm, I'm telling you. Oh, this person, November is quite interesting for you. A lot of contact with, you know, uh, two people. No, that those two people are significant in November. This person coming to you um, that's worried about their finances. You're being able to encourage them and guide them in a really good space and direction. Um, you really understanding things that are no longer serving you and offering that opportunity for new things to come towards you. Um, a higher vibrational frequency, and that's always the best because a high vibration does what? It offers you your manifestations, your uh, prosperity, and your abundance. So it's all about energy, frequency, and vibration. So let's gain more insight. Scorpio. Secrets. Some secrets will be revealed to you. That's why that judgment card came through as well. Clarity. You'll, go, you'll gain clarity over a situation there's Pisces, the mystic. We just said secrets. So what is mystic? Mysteries. Thank you, spirit. Pisces is significant because this is compassion. And spirit just said that you'll have compassion for this person that is showing up with this five of pentacles energy, worried about their finances and how they're going to take care of things and how they're going to do things. But it's going to work out for this person quite well. This person is just really on a journey of self-discovery. So that's why, you know, they may have financial challenges right now, but it's to encourage them to know that whatever they need, and whatever they desire is always within them. Okay, so here with Pisces, this is a dreamy situation, a dreamy energy. Okay, I feel like this is um, this is also adoring. I feel like this Nine of Wands will be adoring you, right? You're going to um, be more emotional here in uh, November, but it is that happy vibe of emotional energy okay it is that happy vibe of emotional energy that's coming through for you with the pisces energy water okay transforming changing spiritual connections here for you healing lots of healing and it's self-pitying too as well with that pisces energy so that correlates here with the Five of Pentacles, which is quite intriguing. So, you know, I can say that your reading is extremely accurate. <laughs> okay, so let's gain more insight. What is the energy showing up for you? Number three for November. What's showing up for you for November number three? What's happening? Ooh, Ace of Swords. Well, this is the highest vibrational frequency in tarot when it comes to the, the, um, the Ace all the way through the King. The Ace of Swords is new ideas. 
It is mental clarity as well. So this is significant. We said that you would be, something would be coming to light for you. Something done in the dark is coming to light for you. Okay, Ace of Swords, it is communication. It's the intellect, it's your mind. You're feeling more clear, more at ease with this Ace of Swords energy. That sword energy is air. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, significant here in the top placements. The Ace of Swords is also, and I told you I'm not going to leave anything out, it's a new conflict, okay? I think same person, but new conflict, and you know what that's about. So being that you know about this conflict that this person is wanting to bring your way, you have the ability to weaken its effect on you by not giving your attention to it. You can acknowledge it and you can say, oh, okay, I see what this is, but don't feed into it, okay? Because this is the thing. If you have two wolves, right, and you have the wolf of prosperity, abundance, health, wealth, optimism, creativity, connection, love, romance. And then you have that other wolf that is pessimistic, angry, deceitful, manipulative, um, you know, narcissistic, right? You have those two wolves. I want to ask you a question, number three. Which wolf will win? Which wolf will win? It's simple. The one that you feed. So that's a clear message and a clear theme here for you for November is to really focus on where you give your attention because whatever you feed is what will grow. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So this person can come at you frustrated, angry, upset, judgmental. But if you feed your queen of one energy, right? Align with the archangel Azrael, right? Understand the labyrinth, raising your energetic vibration of enlightenment, okay? And focusing on your, allowing your imagination to guide you in a way for more creativity, right? And aligning with your higher self, then that is what will grow for you. You're able to always take your power back. So beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading resonates with you and inspire you. And if it does, drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I absolutely love sharing my psychic gifts with you. I am sending you a lot of love and good energy.